Welcome YouTube. This is uh, we're just playing some Fall Guys. This is my last VOD um, for for a bit, for a minute. And the reason for that is um, I'm taking I think January. Uh, Attic, what's up, man? Good to see you're doing well. Happy birthday, thank you, man. Um, happy belated birthday, thank you so much, Karina. So, um, this is my last stream until probably, like, maybe mid-January, but maybe after that, too. I'm on vacation until January, like, 13th-ish, somewhere around there. I'm gonna be on vacation for, like, a good couple weeks. Oh my gosh, okay. This is, like, the worst map for me. <laughs> I'm not, uh, it's not that I'm not good at it, it's just this map is tailored towards just being about random chance. Which means that people who are worse at the game can do better than people who are better at the game. It's just all about luck. Um, which kind of annoys me, but whatever. But yeah, um, I'm going on vacation until to, to, there's a wedding in India with my family members. We're all going to be partying, we're all going to be enjoying, celebrating. So obviously I'm not going to even try to record or stream during that time. But then after that, I won't be posting on YouTube for a while and I might not stream even after I get back. Because I'm thinking it could be cool to just have January as a planning month. That way, like, with the new year, I can get caught up if I fall behind. I can, like, pre-record a little bit. I can edit. I can plan out some stuff. Because there's this big event I want to do. And we don't know if it'll go through, so I'm not going to announce anything. I feel like I'll do better at getting it done if I don't announce it. But there's a big event I want to do this year. There's also another event that I've been talking to Ellie about doing. Um, with friends, a week-long event, which we post every day for, like, two months. Um, and then I, if I have, like, if, I, okay, I mentioned this on Twitter. I want it if I manage to somehow hit a thousand followers on any platform, other than, like, TikTok, where it's easy to do that. Um, I really want to do a charity stream or, like, a charity month, just, like, streaming and all of the proceeds go to charity or something like that. I'm waiting till a thousand because I feel like that's when we have enough people where we could actually make a bit of a impact, you know, get a couple people to give like 250 or whatever, like little, the cash that you'd give to like pay for coffee and just like, you know, maybe raise a, a, a nice little sum of money um, for something that we believe in. So that's kind of the... Uh, the gist of like this year, I've got a lot of things I want to do. Yo, ain't no way that guy just stole all my coins, my rings. But yeah, even along with all that, I've also got this animation show that I've been working on that I want to fully finish at some point. Um, and I, I want to work on it like over break and over January. Um, but the thing is like over break, I also got to study for math because next sem like <laughs> my college Apparently next semester's math class I got to take is one of the hardest classes in Ruck in I mean, I guess I've already said the place. I've said the uni before uh, in Rutgers. It's apparently one of the hardest uh, uh, Courses that I could be taking just and that most people have taken um so due to that, I, basically, I will be studying for a lot of break just to, like, not die. Because I saw what happened to my friends this semester when they took a super hard class, and they fell apart. Like, it was bad. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff I gotta get done. I'm also- I can feel my voice going down. Uh, trust me, this- this stream is not lasting longer than, like, an hour-ish. I- I think I'm just gonna get dailies done and call it a night, but... Yeah, um... We, we got a lot of- oh, also, I've been playing Fall Guys, like, every day. I don't- I don't, uh, stream it. Yo, what's good, Strookie? Um, I don't stream it, but I play Fall Guys and Fortnite, like, every day. And Disney's Dreamlight Valley. Those are, like, my three games that I, like, need to get my dailies done. Um, but Dreamlight- dailies take forever to get done, because you gotta get gifts for everyone. So, like, I end up playing that for, like, six hours. Like, it's crazy. But yeah. Strick, welcome. I was just saying that um, January might be a bit of a dead month for me. I don't plan on doing too much content stuff. I think I will try to um, post some shorts at least. Um, I thought you got older. You're pitchy. <laughs> You're bit, bro. My voice is so gone. Uh, I also did get older. It's my birthday today, so I'm 19 now. But uh, I doubt that my voice has changed that much in a day. I think it's or like 
that that much that fast. I think it's just uh, a case of like I've been using my voice so much in the past three days, and I think it is not handling it well. And I will definitely be resting after this stream. I mean, I got a pack, but that doesn't require too much talking, so I'll be okay. Um, I really don't like this one. This part of the puzzle always annoys me. Thankfully, they got it for me. Um, here it is. That was easy. Drink tea. Um, there's a lot of good tea on my campus, but I'm not there right now, and I don't have meal swipes, so I can't. I mean, I could just, you know, make tea, but like, that's not my vibe. I gotta buy the, buy the good peace tea. They sell tea that's like, it's like, it's called peace tea, but we call it gay tea because it's like rainbow, I think, if I remember correctly from the branding. It's some of the best tea I've ever had. Like, I don't drink tea often, but that stuff is banger. Every flavor is so good. I can't wait to get back on campus. By the way, today we are playing Fall Guys on the Xbox Series X. This is not on my laptop because I, I decided it's so much easier just to do it through the Elgato and like onto Xbox. So we're playing Fall Guys on the nice new product. It's it's so nice. I can't wait to move back to campus and reset up my uh, stream because uh, Along with all the other stuff I want to get done in January, one of the things I'm going to do, I bought a stream deck recently, and I haven't been able to set it up, so I'm probably going to set that up um, over my break in January, and uh, I want to revamp like all of Twitch and Discord, like my whole Discord server I, plan I want to kind of redo at some point, no promises on when, I just want to do it eventually. And, um, damn, it left me. Uh, hopefully with the revamp of the, uh, Discord, like, I'll be able to use my stream deck to press buttons and do stuff. And same with Twitch, obviously. Hopefully I'll be able to do stuff on stream using the funky little buttons on that guy. Um, I think I should be able to make it. Oh boy, it's getting real, real sus. There we go. Gay T Xbox. Yeah, the Xbox is, uh, it's very nice. I've been playing on it, um, recently. Games look so much smoother, so much cleaner, crisper. I haven't really played any hardcore games yet. I've been playing a lot of Dreamlight Valley on it. I think when I get back from vacation, I'm bringing my Xbox One to, uh, on vacation, because I just, I can't live without my Xbox that long, man. But, um, when I get back, I'll probably use the series a lot more and play some harder games maybe some uh, crazy stuff uh the if you saw the video i posted i posted tunic on uh my youtube channel uh yesterday um and in that video i also use the series x it might not look visually different to you because i think i'm getting bottlenecked now by my elgato capture card because i don't have like the best capture card so i have like one that's been discontinued so um just because it's gotten kind of old. So it still works, but I don't know if you guys will notice a difference in my capture. But I notice it. It's much nicer with the series. Um, but yeah. It's going to be nice taking my Xbox One to, uh, to India. Because um, I just... I've been gaming so much lately. It's really like... I think every once in a while I stop gaming and then I realize that like that is what just entertains me like that is something that I love doing just like it, it you know everyone has their thing like some people like to read some people like to watch sports sometimes some people like to play sports etc etc um and expo like playing games and getting achievements specifically is just my thing and whenever I stop doing it I just I'm just like oh that's just something that's like a part of my life that I just haven't been doing for a while it's just like you know, it's not like an addiction to gaming or anything. Like, I can stop gaming, and I, I do when I need to. But it's like, it's a part of your life that makes you happy. So, whenever I stop for a while, then when I get back into it, I just go crazy. And I just complete so many games and stuff. I also almost died there. Uh, <laughs> I was, uh, I really clutched it back, because that was, that was not great. Um... Um, yeah, but basically, uh, the gist of uh, my points are, 
I, I knew I had a couple talking points. It wasn't just that I'm going to be gone January. Um, yeah, I have one more video that I'm, I haven't recorded yet. I'm probably going to record after stream or sometime tomorrow before I leave. Because I'm leaving for vacation tomorrow. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. I won that. Let's go, boys. Let's go. That's how we do it. First win. First game of the day. First win. That was so easy. This game's so easy. <laughs> um, wow, good job. Good start. I'm getting close to another crown rank up as well, which is nice. Uh, we could get... I don't know if we could get tier 100 today. We're very... I haven't bought the battle pass yet. I wanted to buy the battle pass after getting tier... 200. I actually want to get to 200 and then buy the battle pass. All this stuff is free, so that's not that big a deal, whatever. Like, it won't. But, like, getting this stuff at the very end, whenever I get 200, is going to be nice. I think that's the plan. That's why I've been playing daily. Same with Fortnite. I haven't bought the battle pass yet. Actually, I might buy the battle pass for Fortnite sooner. Um, Because I don't know if I'll get to 200 with that. But I know for a fact I will with Fall Guys, because it's just so much easier. But yeah, um, so yeah, I will be still be, uh, still be, no, I haven't even started yet. I do plan on posting shorts soon. I have a bunch of shorts that happen in the middle of the main videos I, I, I record. Like, I'll have, like, a bit that, like, it could be funny for the main video, but it could also be a, a short and it wouldn't change the video at all. So I'll just cut it out of the video and I just save it for later. So I'll probably, like, edit those down into nice little shorts eventually. Um, and you know. I got a lot of content stuff that I really, really want to do. And it's been kind of scary, honestly. I keep looking at the views on my videos and being like, oh, it hasn't broken 100 yet. Or like, oh, like I haven't gotten new subscribers or whatever. And it's just like, it's so hard to just calm your mind and just post just to post. But I think I've been getting better at it slowly. Especially after my party. Turning 19 feels so different to me. 18 was kind of a wreck. I was just like, I was not, Zenerth, what's good? Welcome to stream. We're just, we're just having a little chat, a little uh, chat about content lately and stuff because I got a couple of plans for the, for the uh, rest of the year. Whoops, that was stupid. Happy birthday, thank you so much. That's so kind of you. But yeah, 18 was kind of a wreck for me, but 19, I feel like so much more like, I feel like healthier, I feel cleaner. I just feel like I've got, or at least I want to be healthier and, and like, you know, um, and I've got so many plans for this year. And, like, it's not even, like, um, you know, uh, New Year, New Me stuff. It's just, like, there's stuff that I've wanted to do in my life that I've put off because I felt too young or I felt, like, too inexperienced or whatever. And I think at 19, I just feel like it's finally a time that I feel like I can do whatever I want. And there's nobody that can stop me because of my age, you know? There will be reasons that I, I can just not do stuff, you know? Wow, this is this is great, guys. <laughs> okay, I made it. Like, obviously, I can't do everything. All like, I'm not like a god, but like, I can kind of, you know, I can get away with like, like doing more mature content or like, I don't have to feel like, I don't know, weird about making content. I feel like it's like less cringy when you become older because you kind of know what you're doing. And like, I feel more, I feel more comfortable with myself like doing more professional stuff and like you know using a real camera or trying to make some proper like short films and stuff like i've got ideas i've wanted to do for ages and just been like oh i don't know if i if i can do it i don't know if i'm good enough but now i'm just like maybe i am good enough you know i've had 18 years of experience so far or whatever like or 19 like right yeah no you turn 19 when you've had 19 years of experience yeah yeah because when you turn one it's after a full year of being so yeah i've had 19 years of experience um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm excited though. I've got so much cool stuff that I could be doing. And, and like I was saying, I mean, obviously the views matter and like, they scare me a little bit. Like it's scary posting a video. Cause like after I posted my first video back after a long time, it got views so quick. And then the, the Gar Gorshfield video got views very quickly as well but then the other videos i posted they did way worse and i didn't know why and then i just decided like this is just some algorithm stuff that i don't think i have in me to fix so i think i'll just keep 
trying to make stuff. And I think hopefully along the way I'll just find how to properly work with the algorithm while without like completely forsaking my own creative ambitions, you know? I also think I'm gonna rename and re-thumbnail every video. I'm not a fan of how I've been advertising them. Like personally, like I, <laughs> I, I know it might like it seems it's like the stupid clickbaiter thumb th thumbnails and titles. And um like, I don't know how they seem to you guys, but whenever I see them, I it, I don't like them. But like, it's the way that YouTube is where it's just like, oh, you need the cool thumbnail title. You need like stuff that really pulls people in. So I just tried to do that with my videos, but clearly it's not working. So why not just, you know, advertise them how I like them. And then whatever happens, happens. Um, so yeah, I got a lot to think about in, in terms of that. We're gonna take the jump. Oh, that was an idiot idea. Never mind. Oh boy. We won the last game, Zenith. You weren't here for it. Um, but we won the last game. The first game of the of the stream as well. Um, I don't like the clickbait clickbait type videos. Yeah. I try not to make it clickbaity. Like I try my best to make it something that's like that it doesn't take away. Um it doesn't make you feel like Oh, like, where was that in the video, you know? Um... Like, my last video was just called This Game is a Mix Between Dark Souls and Zelda. But it does that- I have to do that thing, or I feel obligated to do that thing where I, like, capitalize certain words or whatever. And it just feels, like, so... Ugh. Or even just the fact that I don't really use- I, like, I make all the words in my video lowercase unless- like, if, for the most part, I make them lowercase. Because I've seen that kind of do well. That kind of casual title. But it just feels so fake to me. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll find, like, another type of title, title thumbnail that works. Um, uh, but, like, yeah. Maybe I'll try to draw my thumbnails. I wanted to do that for, for so long, but I'm not, like, the best artist. So I just never did. But perhaps I try that. I think I'd like that more. And I think people would um, respond to that better as well. Honestly, if there's a way for me to re-edit stuff in YouTube, like, like obviously you can edit with the YouTube editor, but if I could re-edit stuff in YouTube using DaVinci Resolve and like do it properly and re-upload it, you guys don't know how much I'd be fiddling with old videos. Like sometimes the video is like good and I'm just like, I need to get it out. And it'll have like, like my tunic video, for example, like I love it. I, I think it was a very funny game, like fun game to play. I thought the video was funny and enjoyable, but like there's definitely stuff I would have re-edited if I had the time. But like eventually I just learned that if I don't post, if I don't give myself a deadline and post eventually, I'll never post even the stuff that I think is good or like okay enough. So I just decided to post, but like if I could, oh, come off it. Um, <laughs> if I could change stuff and edit it like now, I'd be doing it so much with all my old videos. And that's why I'm trying not to do it with the, too much with the title thumbnail. I think I'll just change all of them once to fit the new brand, whatever I want to go for. And after that, I'm done. Like I'm not trying, I'm not going to change all the old stuff anymore. I'm just going to do new stuff. But honestly, this if you couldn't tell already, this stream is just me kind of rambling about what I've been thinking about with streaming lately and uh, content creation. Because it's been a bit of a battle for me of just trying to figure out, like, am I able to keep doing this without, f like, falling to a greedy level? Because I'm always worried about the views. And obviously, it sucks when you put in a lot of work and get, like, four views or whatever. But, like, um, you know... I saw, I mean, to be fair, I saw 20 views on my last video and I was, I like my face lit up. I was so excited because 20 is a lot of people. I was not expecting to hit 20 with that video. I thought maybe it would get like lower than 10 or like about 10 to 12. So, um, so I think, I think I, 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 I'm doing better about not like only looking at the views and also just trying to like enjoy and and relax while also pushing myself to actually make stuff because a lot of the time i was just like oh i'll just i don't want to pressure myself i'll just enjoy and then i would end up not making anything and it'd be like great 
<laughs> there's nothing to be sorry i'm burping i just had dinner uh, <laughs> there's nothing to like see you know if i just don't post i'm not gonna like no one's gonna see anything it's just gonna be like you know a waste but yeah so yeah there's one more stacking video coming out on december let's check calendar december 31st wait is it coming out on new year's when was it no 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 january 7th is it is that right i just posted on this on the 24th i posted yesterday didn't i oh my gosh did i post a week ago <laughs> my time scale is completely off what the heck no i posted yesterday yeah i posted yesterday so oh okay okay wait wait, wait. then i don't need Okay, so here's the thing, Zenith. You came here late, so I'm just going to tell you uh, as well, personally. Here's your personal invitation to the information. I don't plan on posting or, or recording or, or streaming at all. Uh, or for the most part, not much. Uh, in January. Because I want to take January probably every year to just relax. And also just to plan stuff for the rest of the year. But, like, not too specific but just to have an idea like if i have any big events that i want to do i can get them ready in january i can try to figure out what i want to do you know i kind of set goals for myself like here's what i want to do long term over the course of the year here's what i want to do short term like each month blah 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 so i'm thinking if my next video was technically supposed to be posted january um because like i i tend to post every two weeks at the moment i want to try to get to a one week schedule this is another one like there's, there's so many reasons why I'm not going to do stuff January, but another reason on top of everything I've said al already is so I can get a little ahead on posting. Like, get a little ahead on recording and editing, so I have some videos saved up in a backlog, like maybe two or three, and then I can post weekly. Because I feel like posting every two weeks, I mean, you get one video of each game a month. <laughs> like, we'll never get through Tunic in that time. It would take literally half a year to finish it. Or no, a full year probably to finish it, which I don't want to do to you guys. Or to myself. I There's no way I'm going to play Tunic for a full year. So I want to get to a point where I can post weekly or even bi-weekly videos. And it not be a problem with my college and stuff. So probably this entire break, I, I want to relax. But I think I'm also going to spend a lot of it working on um, studying and preparing for next semester. As well as preparing for what my uh, schedule is going to be like for the next year so yeah there you go that's a little bit i literally a, a big reason i wanted to do the stream was just to give you guys some insight into my plans for the next year and also just a little bit into what i'm doing now for like the next month because i'm kind of disappearing from streaming and a lot of the time when i do that it's because like i've disappeared from streaming a couple times and and then come back and be like my bad guys but like i don't want to do that anymore i want it to be a little more like at least if i disappear you guys have some idea of where i went that's just all i want is to just you know at least create some like oh okay ari's you know uh yeah on vacation they're working on stuff they'll be back like and you know you have a set time i will be back in february if not in january if i feel like hey i miss streaming i'll maybe i'll do like one like this where it's like not a not a game that i have to play a lot of but i can just you know hop in play and then leave but yeah um yeah i, I had a lot to say this stream i um and i know i'm forgetting a lot of stuff but i'm very excited I'm very excited, not even for anything in particular. There are some things, like some projects that I've been... I thought the fire alarm went off. Nope, it was just a security alarm. I think someone went outside or is turning it on or something. I got scared, bro. I was like, oh no, there's a fire. Um, yeah, I'm not... I have a couple big projects that I want to do. There's no promise that they'll actually go through right now because we've... Especially because some of them are with friends from college and we're all busy. But also, like... There's some projects that I want to do that would just require so much time on my part that I don't have. Like, I... A lot of the time to post videos, I'll stay up until like 5, 6 a.m. to edit them and churn out the thumbnail and all that. And I'll schedule it. And then I'll just go to sleep and, you know... Just hope it goes up on time, goes up properly. Oh my god, I did it. Um... So yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a whole, like... 
there's not enough time in the day for everything that I want to do. Which sucks, because, like... There's just so much cool stuff that I could be doing if I could just work 24 hours. <laughs> like, uh, man. But yeah. There's a lot of big pro- my, I think- I'm, I'm trying to get back to my main point. I'm trying to circle back. I've realized my- my ability to focus is- it's so shot. And I don't know if it's always been this bad, but it feels so bad right now. I just cannot focus. Um, unless I'm playing Disney's Dreamlight Valley. This is not sponsored. I'm just obsessed with the game. Um, but yeah, my point being, uh, I'm not even excited for anything in particular right now. I'm just excited for the potential of what 2023 will bring. And just the potential of streaming and recording in general, because, like, I just haven't done it to this extent before, ever. I've tried many times to have a YouTube channel, and I actually used to post daily videos on YouTube, but I never edit them he heavily. They were, like, pretty bad videos. Um, ignore the fire alarms, totally not me. Yeah, thanks, Trick. Um, but, um, I've, I've tried to post before, then I've also tried to stream, and I would, like, kind of stream erratically, and even now it's not, like, the best schedule, but, like, it's better than what it's been in the past, where, like, I have some idea for the next, like, month how much I'm gonna stream and stuff. Like, I'll, I'll know, like, a month in advance, like, oh, I'm gonna stream, like, now, now, and now, and then maybe I'll do other streams in between that. So, you know, I'm just excited for that potential. It's not even a, like, New Year thing. Like, I don't- I- I like the New Year, it's cool, it's like a nice little celebration, but like, I don't care that much. Like, I think at any point you should be trying to, like, change. And you should be just al always trying to change, you know, you shouldn't let things get rusty and bad. But, um... I don't know. I think the New Year just, because of holiday, like, breaks and stuff, like, you just get a mental break, you get mental de-stress because you aren't going to college, you're not, like, working maybe as much, like, whatever. Um, I guess not everyone has that privilege, obviously, but, like, for the most part, like, you get some days off, like, everybody has this feel about them of, like, magic and stuff like that and love and happiness. So I think because of all that, it's easier to be like, oh, I'm gonna start, like, a new project now because, you know, my brain's finally declogged. So I've been trying to think about it, all the all the plans I have for the next year, I've been trying to think about them before this even came about. So that I know, like, I will have the... I'll have it in me to do it when the time comes. Like, I won't just be thinking of it now because I have nothing to do. Because I'm on break or whatever. If all that makes sense, I'm, I'm not doing the best at explaining this, but I hope it makes sense. But yeah, hopefully everything I'm saying, uh, we actually can work out. Like me and all the people who are behind me helping me out and all the people I'll be working with. Um, oh my god, I almost killed Hatsune Miku. Come on. No deaths? Oh, that guy was so close to dead. Why would you grab me? You made me toss that crap into the void. Well, getting kills is very difficult. I'm not doing well. I mean, as long as I stay alive, that's fine. But like, I want to, I want to kill the man. I want to kill a little guy. I've had so many good times with my friends recently. Like I said, I was out for the past three days with my boys, and uh, we went to watch Avatar 2. Then we had Secret Santa. And then we had my birthday party yesterday. And like all in all, it was uh, it was great. It was very tiring. My I my voice is dead, my brain is dead, I am so tired, but god, it was a great it was a great couple of days. Someone's gotta die there. Oh I thought Hatsune Miku would die for sure. Do not start with me, man. No! Oh. Okay. It's okay. It happens. I should probably keep my eye on people more. I've been a little bit bad about that. I think that's all the dailies done. We can get the weekly done real quick while we're here, I think. If it's not. Yeah, we've got a little more to go for the weekly. So let's just play a little more until that's done. Thank you guys so much for being here. Um, I see a lot of you in chat and lurking. And I appreciate a lot. By the way... I set up automatic ads. Oh, one just ran. Okay. 
my bad. Um, I run, I ran those so that people who, um, anyone who's new can, you know, show up and watch without pre-roll ads or whatever. Cause I really don't like those. I, I when, especially when I'm rating someone, I want to be able to just see their stream and like, I don't have to wait for the ad to finish. So, but the only way to turn those off is to have scheduled ads every like 30 minutes or whatever. So I tried, to, I made it as short as possible without having pre-roll ads. But yeah, if you guys just disappear for a second, I'm so sorry. I really don't like ads in the middle because I want you guys to be able to hear everything I'm saying. But um, I don't know. It was kind of a, it was just a game of would you rather have pre-roll or middle? And I think middle works better, maybe, potentially. Because you could also get the banner ads, which means that you can still listen to my... Uh, Listen to my stream while having the ad on the side. Anyway, that's a lot of ad talk. Sorry, that's just... <laughs> that's just all, like, stupid marketing shit. Who cares? I keep forgetting I can curse on here. I, I have to... I try to avoid cursing on YouTube. Because YouTube just seems like they give more of a shit about that. So, whenever I curse, I, I bleep it out a little bit. Not bleep it. I just mute it out a little bit. Um... And so, instead of doing all that work, I just try not to curse too much. And whenever I do, whenever I think it'll be funny too, or if I just accidentally do, I will cut it out. That's fine. Um, there was one moment in the Tunic video that was very funny uh, because of me cursing, I think. Where I, <laughs> I, uh, I, I, I was trying to get through a difficult boss fight, like, level kind of thing. And I was just like, okay, guys, if I just don't get hit at all for this next section, I think I can beat the boss. And immediately get hit, and I just went, shut the fuck up, Ari, shut the fuck, shut up, holy shit. And that, that, when I, I forgot that happened, and when I saw it in the editing room, I, um, I was laughing kind of hard at it. I, I thought it was kind of funny. Um, my, it, it's just karma for me talking, honestly. It's what I deserve. Um, it's all good. It's all good. We got through it. Tunic's so fun. Um, re-watching the first part of the Tunic video after I finished recording, it was very interesting seeing how different my understanding of Tunic was at the beginning versus the end. Like, at the beginning, I thought it was like a level-based game where I had to just keep going through different levels. So when I saw the yellow door in the beginning, I was just like, oh shit, I clicked it and I went through. I don't think I'll be able to go back to explore all the other places. And then I, I, as I played more, I realized I can always go back. I can look and find everything else. Um, like, I can explore every nook and cranny anytime I want. There, There's no point where it will cut me off from going back. It's a very, like, kind of, not open world game, but, like, you do get to explore a little more on your own. So, yeah. I don't know. Tuning's a fun game. I'm very excited to finish uh, playing it for YouTube. Um, like I said, so, from my understanding, it'll probably take about... Um, hmm. Well... I'm trying to think. So I finished like one level in Tunic. Like there is no levels, but like I looked at this guy that said how many like quote unquote chapters there are in Tunic and there's like 13. So I finished one. So if I post every week, it'll take like a good couple months to finish the game. That's why I kind of want to post bi-weekly if I, if I can, if I have it in me to do that. Like if I can figure out a way to do that, I will gladly do it. But um, let's see. I got first place robbed from me. I was so close. Nook. Yeah, like Tom Nook. I've been playing D Disney's Dreamlight Valley, and it's really funny that Goofy is like the Tom Nook of the game. I mean, he's not really. Like, I guess Scrooge McDuck is really the Tom Nook of the game. But like, Goofy is the one that like, he's like kind of one of the, the, the Tom Nooks. It's funny. I'm probably gonna go play more of that game after I end stream. I'm not gonna lie, guys. But yeah, so um, I was planning on posting stacking, but now that I realize that my next post would be January 7th. So I think, I think I'm think i done posting for 2022 and for part of 2023, for January of 2023. I will be back February, hopefully. I will try to pre-record some stuff so I can do... I'm going to try to get... My, my plan right now is February, I do weekly, like starting February. And then if by chance, like school isn't killing me and i can kind of get ahead on stuff like if i can find a way to get ahead on on recordings um i will switch to bi-weekly so then i'll just do like wednesday and saturday every week but um that might take a couple months to get to that point 
I would need to get like a decent enough backlog where if I fuck up like a couple weeks in a row, it still wouldn't mess up my schedule. Because I think the best, like the consistency is key, right? Like I think the, the best thing I can do for my channel is keep it going at a specific pace for as long as possible. But that requires me to uh, think ahead and be prepared for everything that's going to come like, you know, college issues, exams, all that stuff. Because I know finals week next year going to be way worse, or next semester, way worse than finals week this semester, I'd say. Unless I can get really good, because like this semester, I got ama like I got like fl flying colors for most of my classes. So then um, finals, I kind of just didn't try, but I still got A's in like probably most of my classes, I think. So like, if I can do that again next semester, then recording will be so much easier because finals week won't suck because I'll just you know not care. But uh, it's gonna be a fun little game to play. Playing with my future, boys. I love college. Uni is so cool. College is cool, actually. Like, it, it's fun to meet people and, like, do stuff and, like, learn. But, uh, I mean, uh, yeah, you know, you know, it's college. I'd, I'd much rather spend time working on this stuff or, like, or, or, you know, having an actual job. Just doing stuff that, like directly helps society, I guess, or like does something, something substantial, I guess. Education goes for too long, man. 12 years and then like another four years of college and then two years for masters. It's like, man, it, it really gets frustrating. Especially if you're like a very like impatient person like me, it just gets so annoying. Oh boy, I almost, I almost ubered myself there for no reason. But yeah, guys, again, thank you so much for everything you've done this year. Um, a lot of you I see in chat like regularly. Some of you I see sometimes, and it's like ni it's just a nice face or whatever. Like, it's so nice when I just see someone talking chat and I'm like communicating and all that stuff. Like, I don't know, I appreciate it a lot, guys. To all of you who've like anyone who's new who's come from like raids or stuff or whoever has been around for a decent like couple months or whatever i appreciate all of your support um i i <laughs> i think even with my adhd ass like i think this like recording and streaming and content creation is something i've stuck with the longest in my life other than gaming and stuff obviously but i grew up on youtube and i think when I was younger, I would post daily on my YouTube channel, like I would try different stuff, I'd play with the algorithm, and then I'd delete everything because it wouldn't be good enough for me. Um, and I've even contemplated deleting some of my old videos, but I'm trying not to. I'm trying to stop that urge, because I think I've always had content creation as like something that has been of interest to me for a very long time. It's been in like that, but something that's always stopped me is like perfectionism and, you know, um, just like trying to like getting scared i guess of failure so i've been i've been trying to keep up the content creation that i always loved while also doing better this time where i'm not just giving up or getting scared of failure or just like throwing in the towel you know so this year especially has been very cool because I've been streaming more. I've, I think I think I've really grown in the past year, like in terms of you know comedy, but also in terms of like having like viewers and stuff and like interacting with people and all that stuff. I don't know. Because when I was recording for YouTube and I would go, like, obviously for YouTube, I have to go back to edit all the stuff. So I have to rewatch my stuff, which is not something I did often on Twitch. No! Oh, two blast balls in a row. And I think in a row or something like that. And we didn't win. Ooh, okay. One more game. That's okay. We can do that. That'll be the final game, I believe. But yeah, when I was going back and, and editing, I was like, oh, these are kind of funny videos. Like, the, like, like... I, I always 
When I started recording for YouTube, I always wanted everything to be high quality or at least like good quality. Maybe not like high quality, but like good enough for me. Like I didn't want it to be shit that I just churned out, which is why I haven't gone weekly yet. I want it to be good. So, um, so because of that, I was always scared when I was recording in the beginning because I would be like, oh, what do I say? How do I make this funny? How do I make this like proper good? But when I really just relaxed and just talked to the camera, I think I did better than I would have ever done forcing it. Um, and you know, some, for some people, maybe forcing it works. Like I think some people, if they have high energy, if they really push it, they can go for it. They can get a lot more out of it. But um, I've got a lot to learn with YouTube and I think I'm like slowly learning that I have it in me to make this stuff. Like I'm not just, I've been doing this for years. Like not even just streaming, I've been in this realm and I've been working on this stuff and I've been interested in all of this stuff for for so long. For longer than I've ever been interested in anything. Uh, at least anything productive. Uh, gaming is fun and it's a nice hobby, but it's like not like productive. But video production and like any anything like that, that is like the f one. Wow, I'm sh shitting the bed so hard. I'm not even, I don't count this one. I'm just doing so bad there and I know I won't make it like I know I won't make it or I just won't make it early and I'm that just I can't stand for that not for the final game play Fortnite that's productive what's up bro your name is so dark on my screen I can barely read it but hi hi Leaf Erickson 1653 how are you my boy Dang, well, you okay? <laughs> All right, <laughs> immediately Leaf shows up and gets timed out. <sighs> Crap, what's his name? 1653. Okay, 1653. Four, what is it? There you go. Sorry, Leaf. I think Leaf said he was leaving anyway. <laughs> Screw Fortnite. Nah, Fortnite's fun. Uh, Leaf and I and some of our friends have been playing a lot. Actually, I might play tonight before. Uh, vacation because I don't know how much time I'll get over vacation but Yeah, I think I've gone through everything I've wanted to say I have repeated some of it because people have shown up or because I just didn't know what to say or how to Get it into your heads or whatever <laughs> But um Oh great, we got the cool we got the cool same level again. That's great. That's so cool There's a reason this is Ellie's favorite level and not mine. God. I hate this one. I like the lily, lily pad leapers one, and he hates that, but he loves this one, named it after himself and everything, and I hate this one. And I'm not a fan. Opposites attract for real, I guess. Um, but yeah, guys, like I said, I can never thank you enough, um, and I think I'll be saying more at the end of the year, but for those of you who are here now, just thank you for all the support. It really does mean the world. I know, like, everyone's names, like, I think about you guys. I'm just like, yo, it's so cool that, like, Strook showed up today or whatever. Like, oh, it's cool that Leaf showed up. Like, it's it means a lot whenever I see you guys in chat or, like, supporting me on YouTube or whatever. Ah, don't hit me. No, please. <laughs> I was that going to send me off the edge. Oh, please don't. Um, sorry, I was trying to reach out for a sec. I should not try to reach out in the middle. Oh, that guy got in front of me. His name was I'm Trash. That's fucked up. I see Ali play and all those. Okay, I deep down have that sound grade in me yelling, stop, no cringe, eat cat treats. <laughs> you don't like uh, Fortnite at all? Ellie is why I got into it. Ellie and F. Ellie and F played so much last season. And this season, I was just like, you know what? I can get to tier 200 easy. So then I, I have been trying. I've been trying my best. I don't know if I will, but I've been trying. We'll see. I have to stop myself so hard from just announcing all the cool shit I want to do this year. I've announced some of it, like low-key announced, where I just kind of let it slip and then shut. I just shut up and hope that nobody caught it too too hard or just forgot. Fortnite's full of children who are mean and who are just gross. There's a lot of kids on Fortnite who will emote on your dead body. And every time I get a kill, I've never even thought about doing that. I think, or maybe I've done it once as a haha -ha funny bit. But like, most of the time, I'm just like, okay, cool, got a kill. Let's go, like, move on. Um, I've never been like, hey, I'm going to make this guy feel bad for dying. 
That just, it's not, it doesn't give me good vibes when people do that. That just, that's like toxicity that's like not funny. It's just like, it's like cool, <laughs> like cool, great. You're just kind of a dick. I mean, obviously exceptions to every rule. Like if you do that, maybe you have a haha funny reason. Like, um, but I don't know. To me, it's just not that funny. It's just like, cool. Like, that's potentially a kid who you just emoted on and they couldn't, like, win. Like, <laughs> great, you were so cool. But other than that, when I just play with my friends, I have a lot of fun. I never have issues. Obviously, there's people who are really good at the game and that's just scary. But, like, I've also gotten kind of good at the game, so I don't mind. Kids are another creature entirely, that's true. Bro, kids are scary. Kids are crazy. Oh crap, come on. There we go. Um, back, I got a bit distracted by drawing. Oh, no worries. I hope you got some good progress done on whatever you're working on. I saw that cat treat thing, an old friend brought some and I said, let me try some, took one, was reported everything. I have the proof, oh my gosh. You got beat up by kids this week? What the heck? Why? I've never gotten beat up. You would think I would've, knowing my humor and how much of a dick I am, but like... Leaf and I were having this conversation where like, obviously the being a dick is a joke. Like it's, it's always done in good fun. If anyone actually gets upset by it, I would stop or whatever. I'm there on? Oh, that makes more sense. Unfortunately, I didn't. I can't figure out how to make good fur texture. I'm sure you'll get it eventually. Just play with different mediums. I'm sure some something will strike out to you eventually. I think the biggest thing with art is patience, and that's something I don't have, which is why I kind of have fallen off from art. But I think I'm gonna spend some time over break if I get bored just drawing out some thumbnails. Here's the thing, I've been saying a lot of stuff about what I want to do over break and over January. So I, like, don't hold me, like, to it, like, oh, new thumbnails are gonna come out that look, that are drawn or whatever, because a lot of it I will have to, you know, leave for later or just not do or find an alternative to. Like, I won't be able to do everything I want to do. That's just my big problem is that I always, I'm an idiot. Oh my gosh, that's, I cannot end on that. That's so frustrating. I got aggressive and I jumped off the side. That's crazy. We got all the weeklies done at least. Level 97. We're doing well. I, sadly, we won't hit 100 in this stream because I, I have to still pack and stuff. So I can't just stream until like 4 a.m. But um, what I do is draw them when I get stuck on later. When, it, when I get sub, stuck on something, I'll just stop and come back later. That's fair. That's valid. I, uh, I, don't, I don't have that in me. I either got to do it for like three hours or I just don't. <laughs> like... <laughs> I think I'm gonna try to spend more time on drawing and I think I'm gonna try to like get better at art. I really like when art's like, I, I just, I don't get how to make art like more detailed. Like I don't know how to add stuff to, to clothing to make it more detailed and stuff. I don't get it. Like people will just add a bunch of chains and stuff and like all these little like creases and like buttons and stuff and I'll be like how'd you know that that button would go there and that would look nice you intelligent son of a bitch my stepmom got me a stylus for my ipad I'm using it right now that's sick I always wanted to try procreate on the ipad it looks very like a very good plot, um, software I need a better stylus for my chromebook it doesn't need to be super deep that's true like if you saw the video I posted on Ari and Ellie where um Ellie didn't show up for a, uh, for a video. Um, my my art in that like that was all hand drawn. Everything that I did, I think I'm pretty sure like most of it was. I think everything was. Um, it was all done on a tablet on a drawing tablet that I own. So um, oh come on, surely yeah. I thought I knew like if those three in a row didn't break, that one on the right should have. Um. What was, what was I saying? My de best would look at references. They're your best friend. Yeah, I really should look at references more. I get scared. I don't want to like just copy stuff, but like I should. I just want to practice. I just got practice. 
That's why I'm saying, like, I may not end up... Come on, let me through. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, thank God there's a hammer. I should be able to make it. Or I could just do something like that. And not make it whatsoever. We got to do one more, I guess, guys. Holy shit, I'm throwing so hard right now. This is just more time for me to talk to you guys. You can copy stuff, and even when copying something, you can learn a lot. That's true. I did learn a lot um, when I tried to bullshit my art class, because I needed an art class, and I picked a harder one, because I was like, oh, I can do this, and I couldn't do it. So I just had to, like, BS it. And I learned a lot just from, like, BSing and, like, you know. But yeah, so like I was saying, I, um, I might not end up with new thumbnails, but I hopefully will end up with a lot of new stuff come next you know next year and february and stuff and hopefully i can revamp my discord i want to kind of restart my discord not restart but like i want to add some new stuff to it i want to do more events in there because i've really been putting off events um because it's hard enough to do everything that i want to do maybe i can do events that kind of fit into my day-to-day, -day. like have studying events, have days where we just get some homework done together. Um, Cause I know a lot of the people in my Discord are about as old as me or younger or whatever. So yeah, I think if I fit more of my just l daily life into events, it would be easier to use Discord more and like have people, you know, talk in the server more and stuff like that. I don't know. There's so much to do. I have no idea how I'm going to get to everything. I wish we had more hours in the day. And I wish we I wish we didn't have to sleep and I wish we didn't have to eat. If those two things got eradicated, I could work non-stop for hours. Start by copying. I still kind of copy for some things, but as you copy, you'll notice patterns and then be able to see oh when there when there's a shape under the cloth, there sh there should be this sort of fold or shadow or with different materials, you'll learn how those work with lighting and folds and shadows. And everything. Yeah, no, that's totally fair. Actually, I did that with Pokemon for a while. I would just copy Pokemon, but, like, I wouldn't trace. I would just, like, look at it and draw it to the best of my ability. And I would learn stuff about, like, each style of Pokemon and each, like, um... Like, what each artist did and stuff like that. It was actually very interesting. It was a very cool little... You freaking SpongeBob Peppino! That's crazy, bro. That SpongeBob had it out for me. Yo, stop bouncing me. No, bro. The bounce is so disgusting. It does not help you whatsoever. But yeah, I, I think you were totally right. I, um, I'm gonna try to spend more time copying stuff from, like, like, to, just to, like, get a feel for, like, different clothing. I actually, I should also, there's another thing that I just keep forgetting, which is that, like, I'm so much better drawing on pencil paper. I don't know why I always go for the drawing tablet immediately. But perhaps I try to do pencil paper a little more. Oh my god, I thought I was going to stop at 99 there and not make it. That would have been so annoying. Homework something I cannot focus on anything. So having people to keep me accountable would be very, well, very helpful. Um, yeah, I actually... I think... So next semester, I think we're... I'm probably going to study like two hours... Like maybe one or two hours a day on math. And um, my C, uh, computer science class. Because I think both those are very difficult. I think... Computer science might be easier just because <laughs> they say it's always hard and then it's always kind of easy for me. I think I just understand computers. I say that. Maybe I'm jinxing it. Maybe I'll get totally fucked next semester. But like, at least calc, I will study. So I think maybe I'll just do study sessions each day. Like, you know, I'm going to study from one to two. If anyone wants to join, hop in. And then... <sighs> I've been thinking about maybe adding like a question of the day into the server, but I feel like that like, I don't know. I don't know. I I'm thinking about it. I want to, like, it's hard to have conversations in there if people don't have conversations, you know, like it's, it's hard to converse alone. Like you can't really do that. So like, if you have a question of the day, then people will be like, oh, like this, this, and this, like they'll have something to talk about. But I think. I think after I just build a community on YouTube and stuff, people will start to talk. They will have stuff to do. So I think I think patience is key as always. I just can't rush, you know, building a community. Or like I kind of reigniting the community. Cause I, I've have I had a community and we talked a lot and I think just slowly people got busy and you know come on. There's no way. I wanna do better. I wanna make it to final at least once.
even if you do study sessions, there could be people with more knowledge that could help. I know most people are probably older than me, so that could be very helpful for me as well. That's true. You're right. All right, let's do one more. I think one more, at least that'll take me to level 98, which is a good place to stop. And hopefully it'll be better. If it's not better, I think we got to end because I got stuff to do. It's also really hot in my room. I don't know why. But yeah, like I said, patience is key. I think it's very easy. And even for like creators who are smaller than me, because I, I am privileged enough to get like, you know, four to seven viewers. And a lot of people are stuck in the rut of having only zero or one viewer. Um, like if you scroll through Twitch, I'd say like 95% of streams, maybe. I don't know, I could be very off, but it feels like 95% of streams, maybe more, maybe 99% of streams have zero to one viewer. And you've got like the, you know, five to 1% who have like more than that. So it's like, like Ellie and I were scrolling once on Twitch and we scrolled from, you know, less viewers to more. And then we scrolled from more viewers to less. It was, it was crazy how many people only had one or zero viewers. So like, I feel privileged to have more, to have seven viewers right now, to have like, you know, a consistent amount of viewers every stream. And that's awesome. And I appreciate it so much. Like I've, like I've been saying, but, um, I think it's a good tip even to people who are smaller than, than me to just like keep grinding. Like I, I see all my YouTube videos as, as essentially an investment so that like, if people find my channel later, they will, you know, have stuff to watch. Like, I've essentially, you know, just made a backlog of stuff for people to watch. So even if nobody's watching now, even if, like, I get, like, one or two views on a video, it'll be there for later, you know? Oh, apologies for the ads. I'm so sorry. I wish I could go adless, but... I mean, it helps me at the very least, but nothing I can do about that. Oh, give me first place. Come on. Yeah, let's go. First place. That's good, uh, good omen. Wow, that guy got bullied. The game did not want that guy to go up. That's crazy. Oh, dude is getting, dude is not getting very lucky with these flings. I mean, at least they made it. <laughs> ads, oh my God, I can check when the ads end. I got eight seconds, okay. There we go. Easy. All right, everybody. You should be coming back from the ads now, I think. Back? All right, welcome back. Yeah, so I'm so sorry about the ads. Um, it like, okay, they, they just allow me to avoid pre-roll ads. And also, if I have scheduled ads, then they won't just randomly run in the middle of streams. Like, then I just, I, I'm aware at least that they're happening, you know? Um, and hopefully when I get my two monitor setup back, um, I'll be able to see when the ads are about to run. So I don't say anything important in that, in that, in like those times where I don't do anything important or I can just snooze them if I really need to. Ads give support. Ads are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, they are. They are helpful. I like, I don't want to do them, but like they are, they are the best way to support me. If you're not going to like, like without spending money, you know, cause not everyone wants to spend you know, five bucks or whatever on subs, and not everyone's gonna be gifting subs all the time. So like, it, it they are very nice, but hopefully I'll be able to keep more track of like when an ad's about to run, when I move back into dorm, because I, I don't like for them to just run randomly. Oh, there's no way. All right, well, of course, as always, I lose at the Rhino game. The Rhino game has gotten worse and worse, and I just, I can't, I can't beat it anymore. Damn. Well, <laughs> I, I mean, that's about it. I don't have my face cam on. Obviously, I've, I've, uh, I'm very tired, man. I'm, my throat is so dead. Um, I really wish I could be subbed. Hey, I, listen, Zen, it's like I was saying earlier, I just appreciate that you, uh, show up. You and, like, Strooky and everybody who just shows up all the time. You guys, uh, honestly make my day when I see you in chat. It's very cool to see people be so supportive. Um, of me <laughs> i did not think i was that funny before but I, I i definitely have been working on you know making some entertaining shit 
So yeah, that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'll be back. I mean, I will try to stream mid-January at some point. Just to be like, hey, I'm back. You know, I'm working on some stuff. Blah, blah, blah. But like, again, that might not be a long stream. I will probably be back very soon. Don't you guys worry. I am trying to not disappear. Because um, I do have a tendency to do that when I get busy. But I really want to make this a proper part of my life. And I'm doing my best. So yeah, thank you guys so much. Let's uh, let's see if there's anyone that we can hit with a raid. Don't forget to do all the things you have to do. I will try my best not to. I've got so much stuff to do. I definitely will forget some stuff, but some at least especially some stuff that I've said in stream today. So that's why I said earlier, don't expect everything I say to actually happen or whatever. Um, but you know, we'll try our best. Listen, there's no one for me to raid currently so uh maybe make a list yeah i should i might listen back to the stream later and make a to-do list but also that's a lot of work i might just write it down as i think of it but um there's no one for me to raid so go and give your favorite creator some love if they are alive if not go watch some youtube maybe go watch some of my new youtube videos if you haven't seen them yet or go some watch some of the old ones i've got like seven or eight videos up so good like couple hours of content but um do what you gotta do. Take care of yourselves, guys. It's it's Merry Christmas, obviously. Um, let me know when you want that video of me eating a cat treat. <laughs> sure, send in DMs if you want it. If you want to do that. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. Have a great like happy holidays. Have a great Christmas. Have a great New Year's. Um, that's about it. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye bye.